Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. The Grundy County head football coaching position is still open tonight. It's been about a month since former head coach Casey Tate was suspended. School board members suspended him after five players were charged with attempted aggravated rape. Now they're trying to decide who will lead the Yellow Jackets onto the field next season. Channel 3's Tanisha Cordell has more. Well, the head football coach position was posted on the school district's website last week. So far, seven people have applied, but the question is, when will someone be hired? Board members asked that same question during a work session tonight. There's seven. I only know two out of the seven. So, I mean, I, I couldn't give you a guess right now. Grundy County School Board members talked for about 45 minutes, mostly about a salary for the future head football coach. It's hard to get a winning coach <coughs> if you don't pay. Superintendent Jesse Kinsey says right now coaches are paid depending on their degree level and years of experience. This year, the entire high school football coaching staff was paid nearly $26,000 combined. We're gambling. You want us put money out there and we don't know what we're getting well, I mean, for our we money. Can, well, we I can can't do, do that either. We can do it based on what we've always done it, which is a month's pay plus 1200 right, Anna? I mean, I'm good with that. If that's what y'all are good with, I'm good with that. But you're going to get what you're going to get. Board Chairman Robert Foster says the problem is there's no money left over in this year's budget. But if the board decides on a number to offer applicants, they'll look into some options. We will do a budget amendment, take the money out of the fund balance to finish out the year, the school year, uh, until we can do our budget next year. A superintendent Kinsey says she plans to interview candidates sometime after Thanksgiving break. Meanwhile, board members hope Kinsey hires someone by January 1st, which would fall after Christmas break. For now, live in the studio, Tanisha Cordell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you.